My friends, you might have heard of the term saved by the bell, which generally means, you know, escaping a, a rough time or a tough situation just in the last minute. However, you might not be aware that the term has a darker, creepier origin that tying to what is known as a safety coffin. You see, in the 17th and 18th centuries, there was a serious problem in which people were often affected by what is known as catalepsy, which led to a problem called catalonia. And this is a, a symptom that we know a lot about now, but back then did not know so much about, which leads to, you know, inability to move your muscles, it doesn't look like you're breathing, and often people generally assuming that you had passed on and were no longer among the living. And in these situations, it was a lot more common for people to be buried alive. It actually happened quite a lot, especially in the London Victorian era. People were buried alive all the time. A very unfortunate thing. This was such a problem that they created what is known as a waiting mortuary, sometimes a section of a hospital where essentially the dead are left to rest for a few days before being buried in case they wake up. They would stock this with food and wine and cigars and all sorts of amenities in case somebody did wake up so that they had those resources available until someone found them. However, this also meant that if you woke up inside of a waiting mortuary, you might be stuck with the dead for days at a time. One of the ways they tried to alleviate this was by testing for death, you know, doing weird things like uh, cutting people and, and smacking them and hitting them, trying to inflict pain to see if they would come to or wake up. They also thought that tobacco had crazy healing properties back in those days. And so they would do all sorts of weird things like, you know, puffing tobacco smoke into your different orifices and not just your mouth, my friends, in other places as well. Ultimately, one of the solutions that they came up to and one that was maybe more popular was that known as the safety coffin. Now, the safety coffin came in many different forms. It generally involved some method of having uh, a semblance of recognition from above the ground that was connected to the coffin below for people to realize, hey, there's something going on here. Uh, the most popular one was coffin bells. And there was horns. There was also a situation where a pipe would run down into a coffin and then a gravekeeper would come by daily and have to sniff it to determine whether or not it smelled like there was still a rotting body inside of the coffin or if they had escaped. Um, and in horrible situations, the coffins were also equipped with vials of poison so that if you woke up inside your coffin and realized that there was no chance you were going to get out, uh, you didn't have to suffer the long, excruciating part of that. You could end it relatively quickly. Now, the coffin bells were a very popular system, one that were implemented oftentimes for the wealthier families. And there are instances in history of these actually being used. People that actually woke up from being buried alive in their coffin. And luckily they had that nice little bell they could ring. They had a little string they could pull and it would ring a bell above the ground and they would ring it, ring it, ring it. And somebody would come along and say, hey, I'm in a cemetery and this bell's going off. Somebody down below the ground is still alive. We should get them out. It's a pretty creepy thing to see, but it's also just kind of part of the way that technology has changed. This is not quite the problem that it used to be. Uh, instances of people being buried alive are quite, quite more rare than they used to be. However, my friends, it still happens to this day and age. You can go Google and you'll find cases that have happened in the last year, as well as safety coffins that exist to this day and age. It's still small, but a problem that exists and you could still be buried alive. If you enjoyed this video, want to see more like it, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. And thank you to the patrons of this channel who allow me to do creepy videos without caring whether or not they're monetizable. Awesome support. I hope you guys have a great day. I'll talk to you again very soon. And as always, my friends, adios amigos.